Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I want to demonstrate the dynamic testing of the DAC. Okay, so now I have my Lab 6 solution running on here. Uh, over here is the hardware, and we showed you the DAC last time with the four bits, uh, PB0, 1, 2, and 3. And now I need the four um, switches, which we, will be my piano keyboards. Now, if you only have three switches, I don't care. Uh, each switch is tied to a different note. And when I press the switch, it'll generate a frequency associated with that note. Okay. Um, I have PD3 here tied to my analog output. And my program is running, and Texas Display with the scope mode is activated. And I've opened up a Texas window here. I've opened up a Texas window, uh, set it up in scope mode, set it up in scope mode, and um, now I am measuring voltage as a function of time. And these are my four notes. All right, okay. And I do not have the headphones attached right here, you can see. And so every time I press a switch, I'm going to get a frequency. Now, uh, this one is supposed to be 523 hertz, and you can see that um, other than that my switch is broken, uh, it's about 524 hertz, close enough. Uh, that was a, um, a low C. And so now this is a D, which should have been 587, and it's 588. Okay, and this is my uh, G, my E, uh, which should have been five, uh, 659, and it's 658, 661 approximately. So you can see that the Texas display will show you the waveform, which is approximately sinusoidal, and also measure the frequency right there. Okay, I got one more, and this is my uh, faster frequency, which was a G, which should have been 784 hertz, and it's 785, 782. So again, I've been able to demonstrate that the four um, frequencies that I was attempting to create were indeed um, uh, generated. Now, something interesting happens when I had plug in the headphones. Okay, so let's do that. Plug in the headphones. And now I've got the end of the headphone into the microphone of my recording. And now when I press the, the switch, get down there. You can see the waveform is still there. It's down there near, near the bottom. Uh, it gets really small, okay? Gets really small, but you should be able to hear the uh, hear the voice. And that's because the 32 ohm uh, um, 32 ohm value uh, is so small that it it wipes out the the voltage. But there's plenty of power for you to hear. And you can play a song. There we go. All right. Um, and so that was the dynamic test of what happens when you press uh, the thing. Now, the optional part is a song. Let's see which one creates the song here. Yeah. All right. And so uh, you can now, uh, this is the extra credit part uh, for me playing my song. All right, so most kids find uh, Lab 6 fun. Um, again, when you hook up the headphones, uh, you're going to see very little voltage in the waveform, but uh, plenty of sound in, in, my, uh, in my headphones. All right, enjoy.